In this video, we will look at creating an accessible PDF file using Adobe Acrobat Pro 11. Starting with an MS Word doc file, make it as accessible as possible. First add in the document properties. Under the file menu in Word, choose properties. Under the summary tab in the properties dialog, at a minimum, enter the title for the document. You can also add in other metadata as needed, such as the author and the company, for instance. Click OK to save. Second, you'll want to check the heading structure to be sure they are properly nested. A good way to check headings is to generate a table of contents. To do that, make some space at the top of the document then under the Insert menu, choose Index and Tables. Under the Table of Contents tab in the dialog that opens, choose one of the formats on the left. The classic format works well, showing each heading level indented. Then click OK to generate the Table of Contents. Here you can see the Table of Contents with top-level headings and indented subheadings. Third, you'll want to check all images for alt text. To do this, click on an image, then right click and choose Format Picture. In the dialog that opens, choose Alt Text from the choices on the left. Be sure the title area has a meaningful description up to about 125 characters. If more space is needed, add a longer description in the description field. Then do the same for each of the images in the document. Fourth, you'll want to run the Word Accessibility Checker, which is only available in Windows version of Word. No option is available on Mac versions to check accessibility, so we'll switch over to Windows for a moment. In the File menu, choose Info. From there, click on Check for Issues, then Check Accessibility. You'll notice a panel opens on the right with a list of accessibility issues. In this case, the check identifies missing alt text for tables. Clicking on an issue highlights the associated table. You can then right click on the table and choose Table Properties. Enter in a title for the table and click OK. The warning indicates there's an unclear hyperlink, in this case a URL. If we click on the issue, the cursor jumps to the link in the document. We'll copy the URL, then create a second link around the document's title. Select the text of the title then click on the hyperlink button in the Insert toolbar. Paste the URL into the address field and click OK. You'll see the document title is now a link. We won't uh, add a header to the table since we're only using it for layout. Fifthly, save the accessible document as a PDF. In the File menu, click on Save As, choose a folder, enter a file name, and then in the Format menu, choose PDF, then click Save. The sixth step is to open the saved PDF in Acrobat Pro 11 or higher, and run the Acrobat Pro Accessibility Check. To do this, click on the Tools link in the top right to open the Tools panel. Open the Action Wizard area of the Tools panel, and then click on Make Accessible. From there, we could click Start, but first we'll click Run Accessibility Full Check at the bottom of the menu to get a sense of what issues need addressing. In the Options dialog that opens, the default settings should be sufficient. Click the Start Checking button to run the checker. You'll see the report open on the left, identifying with a red X icon where the issues are. Scanning through the issues, you'll see 
There are missing PDF tags to be expected. There are some manual checks identified with the blue question mark icon, some missing tags further down, and missing alt text, despite having added alt text in the original document. Step eight is to run Acabat Pro's Make Accessible Utility to fix the issues. Going back to the accessibility panel on the right, click on Start to begin the process. The first dialog will ask for various metadata. Be sure the title is accurate or adjust it. Fill in the subject, author, and keywords if needed, then click OK. Next, the OCR language needs to be selected. Choose the language of the document, in this case, English. Click OK. The next dialog asks if there are any forms. If no, skip this step. Next is the reading language, typically the same as the OCR language. Click OK. Next, each of the images is checked for alt text. Enter a short description for each image, even though we've previously entered them in the Word doc. Then click Save and Close. Next, Acrobat runs the Accessibility Checker again. Choose the default settings, then press Start Checking to continue. Now you'll see in the report on the left, there are only a few issues remaining. Open each and make corrections as needed. The first couple are manual checks. Further down in the heading section of the report, you'll see an issue. Clicking on the issue highlights the affected area in the document. To see and fix the issue, click on the tags icon, then open the tag tree. Click through the tags until you find the tag associated with the issue. You'll notice the highlighting change when you found the right one. In this case, the document starts with an H2 when it should have started with an H1. So we'll edit the tag directly and make that change, then click out to save. Now run the accessibility test again. You'll see that the issue is now gone. Click on the next issue and find the selected element. In this case, it is the abstract heading. Go back to the tag tree and find that heading. You'll see the heading is an H4. Since it now falls in H1, we'll manually adjust the heading to be an H2 to produce a proper heading sequence. Click out to save and then run the accessibility checker again. You'll notice that there is now a new issue. The heading that follows abstract is now out of sequence. So we'll make an adjustment to that heading as well. Go back to the tag tree, find the heading, and adjust accordingly. In this case, the H4 should be an H3 following the H2 set you set earlier. Now run the accessibility check one more time. You'll see now there are no more errors left. But the warnings still need to be checked. Step nine is to check the reading order of the document. This should normally be left to right, top to bottom. To check reading order in Acrobat, click the Z icon in the left toolbar. This opens as a list of page sections in order on the left and a visual representation of the reading order on the right. If you scan the document, you'll see the reading order page by page. In this case, we have a problem in the author area of the document at the top. You'll notice the author's names and affiliations are read together, but the email addresses are not read until afterwards. To fix the order, we'll delete items two to five in the list on the left by right-clicking on each and choosing Delete Selected Item Structure. As you delete them, you'll see them removed from the document on the right. Now we will recreate those items by selecting each author's information as a group. To start, open the menu at the top right of the order pane, click the Show Reading Order panel, and then move the dialog to the side. Now select the content you want to group by dragging the mouse pointer over it. Then 
in the reading order dialog, click the appropriate content type, in this case, text. You'll notice now that the first author's information is set to be read second. Do the same for the other author's information. The reading order is now correct, so save the document and close the dialog. Run the accessibility check again to be sure no new issues were introduced. No new issues, but the manual checks still remain. That's okay. Color contrast we won't check here. Using black text on white background is good. You could potentially manually check the colors of the images using an image editor and a contrast checker. That should do it for this document. Now to test with a screen reader if you have one. Here's how JAWS reads. Caps lock off. Leaving menu bar. Late Evo colon accessible online role dash play editing level one. Greg Gay. Ryerson University. Greg.gay at Ryerson.ca. Maureen Lynn. Ryerson University. Maureen.glynn at Ryerson.ca. Naza Jafarova. Ryerson University. Jafro at Ryerson.ca. Heading level two abstract. The key features in the Late Evo web dash based role dash play. Environments that allow blind students using a screen reader too. Fully participate in creating and presenting online role dash play. Finally, have the screen reader navigate through the images to be sure the text read is meaningful. Scroll down to the images and then click on the image to have it read. Note the caption is read first and the alt text is read second. Figure one, late Evo character editor. Graphic late Evo character editor. Figure two, right parent. Graphic late Evo script editor. Figure three, late Evo movie player. Graphic late Evo movie player. And that's it. You have an accessible PDF document.